The SOLIDWORKS 2005 has really enhanced the power of configurations. Uh, a great example is that you can now define materials specifically for different configurations. In this example, it's a little air fitting. Uh, Dixon valve and coupling makes this air fitting. And you can see that they make it in brass as well as stainless steel. Well, we always had the ability to do color per configuration, but now we can actually define a material property which can be used to to um, calculate density and so forth. So for the brass one, we have the brass material defined. For the stainless steel, we've obviously done cast stainless steel. You might show how we do that. It's easy, easy to do with the new dialog at the bottom of the material specification uh, property manager. We have the ability to specify which configurations you'd like to apply the materials to. Nice stuff. Um, true story, on a part like this, the st stainless steel is investment cast while the brass is sand cast, so we have different tolerancing. You may want to go to an isometric to show this. For the stainless steel, we have a bilateral tolerance, and for the brass, we actually have a symmetric tolerance. Very easy to do now in SOLIDWORKS 2005. Just simply click on the dimension. And you'll see now in the property manager that the tolerance uh, can be specified, but you also have a new configuration button where you can specify where to apply these. As a final little kicker, you may show that these tolerances can be controlled via the design table. And if we, uh, if we go ahead and edit this table, you'll see that it will update the parameters with the tolerance and basically to specify tolerance in a design table you specify the tolerance type and the values associated with that so once again SOLIDWORKS 2005 leads the pack in configurations configuration specific materials configuration specific tolerancing thanks